Hey guys, it's Krelix here, and I'm going to be showing you a more consistent and quicker method to the Magnesis Shrine skip. Shoutouts to Mike Tastic for this idea. Without him, I would not have known that this was even possible, and I would not have been able to find this more consistent method. So, there is a link in the description below to his original video. Right, first things first. Before you boot up the game, you want to go to your Simu directory. You want to go to Game Profiles. If you have the American version of the game, it is the one that ends in C9400. Open that up. If you have the European version, it is the one that ends in C9500. Open that up. Now what you want to do is you want to change the, the bit of string that says Emulate Single Precision. It will be set to true. Uh, you want to set it to false. If it's set to false, then you don't have to worry, but it's probably going to be set to true. It is the soft lock fix. If you've ever been playing and noticed that sometimes the camera can lock into precision and uh, you can't play anymore. So while you're in a shrine, you want to set that to false. While you are outside of a shrine, you want to set that to true. Also, I suggest changing it to read only as I believe Simu can change it back to true automatically. Right, boot up your game. I'll load into the shrine. Open up Cheat Engine. If you don't know what Cheat Engine is, I will leave a link in the description below. It is completely free. Once you've got that, you want to open it up, go to select a process, select Simu, go to enable speed hack. What I've noticed with this uh, surf launch glitch is the lower your frame rate, the more consistent it is at actually launching you. Now, Everyone's computer is going to be different and it's going to have different emulation speeds. So what you want to do is you want to try and make your frame rate roughly three to five frames per second. And the faster that you make the emulation, the lower your frame rate. For me personally, with how my computer emulates it, I use times 10 speed, which gives me three to five frames per second. You'll need to find what works for you. Click apply. Now, once you've done that and you'll see your frame rate go down, you want to come over to this wall over here. It is the left side of this gate. Now you want to get yourself dead onto it. You don't want to be angled to the left or to the right. You want to be straight on. If you're having difficulty, walk back a little bit and walk up to it. Also, you can use your Sheikah scope to center you. Once you've centered yourself, you want to raise your shield. You want to walk forwards. Now, after your, while you're walking forwards, by the way, during this whole process, you do not let go of your shield. You want to keep that raised. It doesn't matter if you do it like roughly here or there. I just like to do it like pretty much in the middle. I think that's best. So I'm holding forwards and I have my shield raised. You will jump. And if you're holding forwards, he'll do this like hop step off the wall. After that little hop step, you want to press A, which is your shield surf. And it will launch you. It will take a few tries, but it won't take too many. I advise having two shields. Obviously, if you have more, the better, but you can do this method with one shield. So yeah, don't worry, it'll probably take a few tries. Just be patient and you will get it. There we go, and we're up. See, only took a few tries. Now you want to come around here, you want to kill this guy real quick. You want to miss. And you want to get a critical shot and one shot him, which is good. Don't worry about full damage, you are completely safe here. Pick up any little loots that he drops. Now you want to come over to this wall here. I don't actually think it matters which section of the wall you're at, but I like to roughly be here. Use your Sheikah scope to center yourself. And you do the exact same thing. Hold your shield, walk forwards, jump, A. Just keep doing it. Now if your shield breaks, don't worry, you should have a spare with you. And that's it. See? It did only take one shield. That's it. You're now in. I tried to find a method of getting to that chest, but sadly, guys, I did not find it. Maybe one of you will find a consistent way of getting that chest, but sadly, I had no luck. Anyway, just drop down here. Don't worry about any full damage. You're perfectly safe. Go up to this guy, and you will get that spirit orb that you need. So, this has been the quicker and more consistent method of skipping through the Magnesis Shrine. There is also a skip for the Stasis Shrine, because you need all four orbs to get your paraglider, so that you can actually progress into the room to the rest of the game. Um, 
Mike Tastic has a video on how you skip the stasis shrine. I did not find a more consistent method with this walking up to the wall, jumping type thing. I tried every wall there and none of them launched me. Maybe you guys will have more luck, but I personally didn't. So that's it. We've got our spirit orb. We can get our paraglider. If this is your fourth one, if you've already completed the stasis shrine. If not, you can go over and watch Mike Tastic's video on how to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you would like to watch more of my content. And I do regular live streams on Twitch, Monday through to Friday. If you would like to watch some of my live streams, there is a link in the description below. Remember, there is a link in the description below also for Mike Tastic's original video. Check it out. And there is a link in the description for Cheat Engine. It's completely free. And that's it. That's how you quickly do it. It does not take very long. Now, if it doesn't go as planned, and sometimes it can launch you behind a wall and you get stuck behind a wall and you're like stuck in the geometry of the game, just load, it's fine. If you run out of shields, just load. It's a very quick method. It doesn't take very long. So if it doesn't work perfectly on your first attempt, don't worry, don't sweat. It will be fine. All right, so I guess you can go get your paraglider now. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next video. See ya!